this is Tracy from Livinia Stamps and thank you for joining me today. We're going to be using some watercolour paints again today. I've cut the watercolour card down to about an A6. It's quite a nice size because it just keeps it small and very simple, especially if you're just starting out with watercolour. I am going to start by just damping down the background, leaving half an inch at the edge. So just dampen that card and then when we add the watercolour, just let it bleed out and it creates that lovely effect. So I'm going to start with a tiny amount of yellow. I've got my plate here just so I can do a little bit of mixing. We don't want too much colour all at once. Just add it gradually. And just have our tissue here as well, just to stop any pooling of colour. And now I'm just going to add just a touch of orange It's always good to mix your colours beforehand and it just saves on time and it stops the background drying out too quickly. So it's just starting to pull at the top here. So I'm just going to take that out. Now let's dry that first layer off. Make sure it's completely dry. And I want to create some hills so Using the water again, just the water, I'm going to create that hill in the background there. Now I only want a tiny amount of colour again and then I'm just going to dot that in and it'll just go up to the edge of where I painted the water. So we'll dry this off. And now taking clean water again, I'm going to just create another hill. And this time I'm going to pick up a little bit of grey.
Okay, and we're going to dry that off again. Okay, so lastly I'm bringing in some more water. some colour it's a little bit deeper this time because it's nearer and let it just spread and do its own thing it's all about time with watercolour it's just giving it enough time there's nothing quick about it, but the simplicity I find is really beautiful. So that's as far as I want it to go, so I'm going to heat it now to dry it off. So I've got some trees, some small trees here that I'm going to ink up in the twilight and I'm going to stamp off first and then I'm going to just place that down and there we go okay and now a smaller tree <clears throat> So again, ink up, I'm going to take that first impression off and then bob that down. And now taking one of our hairs, and then let's pop him down around about here. Okay, so I've got a very fine paintbrush here and I'm going to just pick up some of that colour that I've used. Make sure it's nicely watered down. And then just at the, the bottom of the hair here, I've added a little bit of water. And again, I'm going to use just a really watered down grey. And just drop the colour in place. I'm going to dry that off. And then using some of our pencils, I'm just going to pick um, a green. Just going to add a little bit of colour. Just a tiny amount. And then the Posca pens.
that's it. That's all I'm doing. Just something nice and simple. So you don't need to use many stamps to create a card. And like I've said before, I think it's always simplicity with watercolour. So I hope you enjoyed the demonstration guys, something a little bit different again. And I hope it's inspired you to have a go, because it's good fun. You really do get absorbed into painting.